Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Maria. I do videos on cooking, cleaning, motherhood, lifestyle, and today's video is about organizing and decluttering master bathroom. We just moved not too long ago, and if you ever moved in your life, then you know things get messy. Um, so, and the master bathroom really needed some organization because I just couldn't find things that I needed. And if you have some of your own decluttering or organizing to do, I hope this video can give you some motivation. This is really messy. I've been waiting to declutter and organize this area for a while, but I mean, this is like ridiculous. I have to keep, I have kids toothpaste. If anyone wants a chase pen, let me know. I have bubbles. I don't know why they're here. Um, I don't even know what's in here. Again, when we moved here, we just threw a whole bunch of things just to make it fit. Mostly it was me doing it, so. Um, this is supposed to be kind of like my husband's area, but we all know we're gonna overtake that section. And then this is my section, um, yeah. My makeup bag. Before I start decluttering all the junk that I have in those drawers, I'm going to clean the shower really quick, the floors, and you guys, this brush is amazing. It like literally scrubs everything off and it just makes it so much faster and so much easier to clean your shower. Um, there's different attachments to it, but this is the only one I used. This is all I needed to use and it was just sparkling and clean. And these are the little jars I'll be using to attach to the wall. That's why I clean the shower first. And I'm gonna let the adhesive sit for a little bit before I fill it up with my shampoo and conditioner um, and body wash. And if you ever go to the spa, you see the I see those all the time, to be honest. And I get why that is because they just want it to be clutter-free zone, clean, and that's the concept I'm going for. I just want it to be like less things, just clean, and everything looks the same, cohesive. These metal holders need to set for a little bit, so that's why I'm gonna do that first. And then while it's setting, I will be able to start on decluttering and organizing and doing all the fun stuff. left for me to do is just put these stickers on. I'm going to do body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, and then um, I'll just hang those up there and fill them up and then hang it. And I'm so excited to be getting rid of stuff. Like this will make it so clean. And you guys, I did a terrible job putting these stickers on. I did the best I could, but they turned out a little bit crooked, but it still actually end up looking really nice. And you can barely tell that they're not as even that they should be. So this is a very forgiving project. If you are thinking about doing something like this, don't stress about having them perfectly straight because it's gonna be barely noticeable unless like you really, really make it crooked. But other than that, it looks fine. As you can see, I kind of had an organizational system in these drawers before, but after the move, everything got mixed up and it's just a hot mess as you can see and there's so many things that I just don't even need anymore and things that I have but I don't know that I have are hidden somewhere. We I tried to organize this as quickly as I could because as you can see here, my little one is trying to help me to put things where they're supposed to go and sometimes they don't really go where they're supposed to. Um, 
but basically I'm keeping it the, exactly the same way as I had it at my old house just I added a little bit more of the containers these are the newer ones I got from Amazon because the other ones were sliding and these have this little um, like a little sticker that you put on the bottom so they don't slide or glide or anything like that they're gonna stay in place and I love it so even though there's some extra room in the back they will not be moving at all so I really really like these ones in this drawer I'm putting all the essentials and the most important things that I basically use or need to use every day such as eye cream and sunblock but of course my contacts are there because I wear the daily ones and then hair ties and lip gloss or lip balms basically because um, it's really dry here right now in winter and I cannot live without an, anything on my lips basically because it gets so dry And you guys, honestly, when we first moved here, I honestly had no time to really clean this vanity. I just kind of wiped it slightly and then just threw a bunch of stuff in and now I'm actually deep cleaning it. So I'm happy it's finally done and it looks so much better. I recently discovered that I have somewhat an obsession with clear acrylic containers because I just realized that I love the fact that I can see what's inside. And even though I have something hidden behind this container, I can still see it because it's clear. And there I have my little travel bags that I take with me wherever I go. I love those. Um, you can really organize exactly what you need and you can just know what's going to be in there based on its skin or body or hair. I love those little travel bags and they make my life so much easier because especially if you're on a vacation somewhere the last thing you want to do is to be looking for something so they're actually really really great for travel and here I'm just gonna store all of my little sheet masks and then all the travel skincare items um, that I actually love to like I love having those but I forget that I have them because I usually kept them in like a like a bag or somewhere where I didn't even see I had and I for I keep forgetting um, and some of the items I actually really love using and now it's going to be a lot more visible and I think it's going to be a lot more convenient that it's like like this way. I decided to put all the mini hair products here. It just fit perfectly and now I know what I have and here I'm just adding more lotions shaving cream and sunblock we always lose sunblock so now i know where exactly it's going to be and then mouthwash just so it just fits to be there and then all of my makeup extra makeup and my makeup brushes need some deep cleaning you guys but it is what it is you know you can't be on top of everything And I did end up tossing quite a bit of items, products that I just never used or they were expired. And if I never use something, there's no point of me keeping it. So I just, you know, toss it and I'll never use it. Why keep it? And here I'm doing a little bit of a different setup because I wanted to put more like taller products here, like creams, moisturizers. And you guys, this clay mask is amazing. I bought this at Whole Foods, but you mix it with apple cider vinegar and it cleans your face so well. If you've never tried it, research it. If you can do it, try it. I think it's amazing, by the way. And that's my favorite body cream from Trader Joe's. I always buy it and I can't get enough of it. And then my face towels I'm putting here, usually I have them on the other side, but it just made sense to put it here. And all of the hair products, all the sprays whatever I have are just gonna be in one area that way if I'm looking for anything related to hair will go here and then I'm putting my husband's shaver there his travel bag and then additional hair products
I ended up putting the little pins and more hair ties here because it just fits better and my little mini deodorant I think they're so cute but I use them for travel and you guys like this may seem like easy and it's like oh in 20 minutes you got it all done it I, literally took me a whole day and just like planning where to put things go put them in different categories everyone is going to have a different layout it's a process and just you know if you're going to be organizing and decluttering I think getting rid of things is the best thing to start off with and then clean and then whatever you're left with you know what you need to work with say you love me say you don't just give me something so i can move on pull me closer or push me away let me know if we'll be okay and now that i decluttered so much stuff i feel that i need to do some serious skincare shopping and what I like to do usually is just switch my skincare products around because they say that your skin gets really used to a certain product so if you keep using it, it's not as effective. So in my situation, I like to switch it every three to six months just so my skin always has something new and I think it works better in my opinion. And here I'm just going to clean the counters, just kind of refresh in my bathroom a little bit. I just feel that if you're going to be decluttering and organizing, might as well clean it a little bit too. And I found these containers which I think will work great for storing floss and q-tips. It's just something that we always grab and I think it's just nice to have it on the counter. And this is like the most time consuming part because you just have to stand there and let it all fill up the whole container with body wash and shampoo. I think conditioner is the worst because it's the thickest consistency. And you guys, I am in love how this turned out. I think this is probably one of my favorite items I got from Amazon. And since I'm trying to bring some spa into my bathroom, I picked up some eucalyptus, of course, from Trader Joe's. And I'm just going to hang those up or my shower. And before I do so, I'm going to release some oils. And this is like a rolling pen. Rolling pen? I think that's what it's called. Um... But anyways, you roll over it and then it releases those oils. So then you, when you do hang it, you actually have that eucalyptus smell. But honestly, just like looking at it, it's so pleasing and it's just so relaxing. My husband always complains. So if there's a tree growing in our shower, not complains, but just kind of jokes about it. But I mean, it actually kind of looks cool. And here I decided to invest into like the stone mat that actually is supposed to absorb all the water so there's no mold, no nothing. And I have this little rug that I got at Aldi a long time ago and I thought is this time to probably switch things around. And honestly guys, I really like it. It is hard. It's not soft or cushiony but it does absorb the water really well and 
I really like it. I used to dry brush all the time and you guys I think it's so good for you but I haven't been doing it at all so I decided to put it on the little stool so it's right in front of me that way I have no excuse not to do it. I'm so happy that I finally finished organizing my bathroom. It looks amazing to me and I'm happy I can find whatever I need to. And this is pretty much it for the video, you guys. I hope this gave you some motivation to maybe do some decluttering and organization in your bathroom or house, whatever room. But yeah, and if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.